What is up Kilo Crew and welcome to today's video. Today is a little bit sad because it is the final installment of my little Phoenix series, my little vacation here that I have been so much enjoying. It is gloriously warm. I've been doing tons of walking outside, but anyways, I am heading to, for the first time ever, a place to try and take on a team pizza challenge, but solo. As you guys may have noticed, Randy isn't here, so I'm going to have to give this one a whirl all by me onesies, which will actually be really awesome practice. I am fixing to participate in the Benny's Pizza Eating Invitational, which is actually an MLE sanctioned uh, eating contest. So that will be my second ever eating contest of all time and my first one with MLE, but I'm going to be training very hard for that. That's coming up here in April. So you're going to be seeing lots of pizza challenges from me, but I feel like today is a perfect chance to uh, flex maybe a little bit, but also just test my capacity and speed a little bit when it comes to pizza eating. So I'm currently waiting for my Lyft driver to arrive to take me over to a place called Venezia's Pizza where I'm going to be doing their 24 inch team pizza challenge, roughly seven pounds of food. It is a pay to play, but I'm going to have one hour to finish the entire pizza all by me onesies instead of having a partner. So we'll see if it is doable. I sure hope it is. As always, I will catch you guys with more details at Venezia's when the pizza arrives. <laughs> So the massive pizza has arrived here in front of me. I am going to have one hour to finish everything you see here. As you can tell, I went with a Hawaiian pizza even though I only needed to do cheese. I was feeling a bit cocky, but as always, there ain't nothing to it but to do it. I will catch you with more details in the voiceover. Let's get this challenge started. Hair is pulled back, I mean business. One, two, three, let's eat some pizza. Whew, all right. Hawaiian mode activated. What is up Kilo Crew and welcome to this little pizza party for one celebrating my final day in the Phoenix area. I was a little sad to be leaving the gloriousness of Phoenix, but it has to be done. Good za. Good za indeed, and I really wanted to show it off. You probably noticed that the lighting changed a bit. I didn't like the eerie glow that my little portable light was giving this pizza. First slice was delicious. It sure was, and to reiterate, you really don't have to get any toppings on the party pizza other than just cheese, but I mean, who would I even be if I didn't add a little bit of flair to the party pizza? I was feeling a bit cocky, really wanted to try to add some flavor to this thing, and I'm glad I did. It was an excellent combo. Going down easy so far. This pizza came generously sauced. I'm telling y'all, I didn't need to take a single drop of water in during this challenge because everything just like slid down so easily, which comes in clutch when you're doing these massive pizza challenges with all that dough. You really wanna minimize your water intake here. So I was really happy to be able to just use that delicious sauce that had a nice peppery taste to it to really help all of these mega slices go down really easy along with that little dipping side of marinara there. All right, we are officially halfway through the pizza making excellent time so far the crust is actually super fluffy and delicious so cheers to the next half hopefully it goes as smoothly okay so at this point I was really really happy with my pace I was trying to eat relatively cleanly I wasn't doing any sort of like competitive eating techniques or anything that you would see on stage during an eating contest just uh, we'll call it eating aggressively and enjoying aggressively there were a few people in the restaurant enjoying their meals that had zero interest in what I was doing. And when that vibe is kind of around, you try and eat a little bit cleaner and uh, try to not draw so much attention to yourself. But anyways, I was definitely happy with my pace while eating relatively cleanly. I wish I had kept it up and been a little less lazy throughout the rest of the entire challenge itself though. So definitely always room to keep on improving. All right, y'all, just two slices left. That's all that separates me from my first Ever team food challenge solo victory so that'll be exciting if I can get it let's not get too cocky two slices left it's definitely a bit we'll call it extra to go in and order a team pizza challenge and do it solo but I really wanted to prove it to myself that I would be capable of eating that large of a pizza alone since eventually I'm gonna have to be able to eat a pizza this big in hopefully under 10 minutes as opposed to uh, the time you see on the clock now 
All right, final slice of this delicious pizza, well worth the $40 pay to play fee. So good. Let's end this one on a bang. Cheers. <laughs> Not really too sure what ending on a bang means. I might have meant with a bang, but was in too much of a food coma to know what exactly I was saying. But anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. I know I had a lot of fun coming into Venezia's and trying this pizza challenge. It was really awesome to be the first person at that location to successfully complete this one as a solo unit. I know it has been done by Freak Eating at one of the other Venezia's locations, so mad props to him for being the pioneer of soloing this food challenge here but anyways thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this one and i will catch you guys in the next video Wow, all right, Kilo Crew, so 21.36 was my final time to solo the Team Pizza Challenge here at Venezia's. That was absolutely delicious. I am very excited to be joining some of my friends who have done this as a team up on the Wall of Fame and also get a groovy t-shirt. That was well worth the $40 pay to play price. Absolutely delicious, love the crust, love the sauce. But anyways, the music is bumping. I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next one, back in freezing cold Milwaukee. See ya. Thank you.